The number of H1N1 cases in Singapore has hit 315. The latest numbers released last night showed 95 new patients, 10 of which came from Night Spot Butter Factory. The club now has the biggest cluster of infections with 21 cases. Butter Factory has voluntarily shut down for a week to disinfect its premises. So how are other night spots dealing with H1N1? We speak to Mr. Benny Heng, Assistant General Manager of Zook, to find out more. What precautionary measures does Zook have to deal with the H1N1? Okay, currently, we have um, asked for all staff to have their uh, temperature taken when they report for work. And also, over at uh, our club, we've put up signages urging customers to be socially responsible. If they're feeling unwell or if they feel that they're, they're running a fever, they can ask for our staff to take their temperature to see if they are running a fever as well. Is temperature taking compulsory for all clubbers? It's not for the clubbers, it's only for the staff at, the, uh, at this point in time. Do you have plans to make it compulsory? Um, not, at, not at this moment. Mm, yeah. Why is that? Um, because for the club's uh, environment, it will be quite uh, challenging to test all their, their um, temperature because you have people coming in and out. So. Uh, like those who just uh, who are here for the first time for the night, and those who are re and entering the club and all that. So it will. And besides, we have three doors. Yeah. So to have um, uh, them tested for all three doors, it will be quite challenging for us. If that's the case. How do you ensure the the safety of clubbers? Right now, I think the best um, way of safeguarding it is really um, it up to individual that they should be socially responsible in the first place. If they know that they are running a fever and if they've been to all the um, clusters which has been um, identified by the government, then they should um, not be um, caught in a, in a situation where they are in a crowded place. So that's why we put up signages to, to, to uh, remind clubbers to be socially responsible and also our staff we constantly remind them about if you've been to countries which has been exposed and also if you are in any of the class cluster that have been identified and then you just let us know. Do you have plans to restrict crowds or what about crowd control? Crowd control at this moment in time we do not have any plans uh, with regards to like reducing the size of the crowd but um, it's, it's in fact it's an ongoing exercise that we're doing that we will not allow the club to be overcrowded. Mm. Mm. By overcrowded meaning like do you have like a certain quota? Yes numbers? we do we do have a capacity for all the um, four outlets and we I mean that's a requirement by the FSB that we do not exit that um, capacity um, and we are actively looking at the, the, the capacity to make sure that we do not exit. Mm. Do you have any feedback maybe from customers on like maybe you should do certain measures to protect them? Um, not to the extent, some of them might be worried and say like hey, during this period I don't think I, I, I want to be out clubbing so it's, it's, um, that's some of the sentiment, um, a few minorities uh, of, of their sentiment that they might have but in terms of precaution that's, that's the thing we haven't really hear any from our customers. So what will the club do if let's say a staff falls ill? Um, we definitely will, will investigate more if um, they fall ill and it's, uh, we will send them to the, hosp uh, to the clinic. And if uh, it's found that it's a confirmed case, then we will really have to investigate who was he um, in contact with and if need be, the club will be prepared to, to, to close it uh, for like a week. While there are limits to what night sports can do to curb the spread of the virus, the most important and practical measure against H1N1 is social responsibility and a high level of personal hygiene. If you're sick, avoid crowded places.